Hi guys, we're back again for another unboxing video. Today's item is an affordable wireless router. And, hindi ko na patatagalin. Let's go! Okay, so uh, unbox na natin itong um, TP-Link Wi-Fi router. By the way, mura-mura lang ang bili ko dito guys. 700 lang um, sa Lazada. You can probably get um, lesser or mas mura pa dito. No? Mayroon na tayo itong, I guess, nakita na nag-sale ng 600. So, hindi ko na patatagalin guys. So, open na natin. Okay, so, na natin dito sa video. Okay, right here. Sana. Okay, so huwain ko lang yung gilid guys Stay put lang kayo dyan Okay, ito na So by the way, binukusan natin siya guys Ito so, lang bigay sa inyo, 5 dBi siya By the way, the higher the dBi uh, The higher the signal Ito ay basic uh, router lang uh, for your home para sometimes kasi hindi reliable yung ating uh, wifi dun sa bigay ng ating provider no? so sometimes we have to extend you can use this as wifi extender actually in my case I'm gonna be using it to extend our wifi uh, may nakahanda na akong cable here right here uh, nakakabit ito sa baba I don't know if it's gonna, do, gonna work but we're gonna test it out so buksan natin so, by the way, guys, we want to buksan. This is 300 Mbps, yun yung speed nito. Meron din uh, gigabit, gigabit yung speed nito, pero mas mahal siya, of course. Madali so, lang siya set up, capable siya ng IP version 6. Also, it can also cater yung ating IPTV. So, ano kaya naman ito sa loob? Right? Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, nasa gilid yung bukasan. So, wala na. Wala na naman yung box. So, quick installation guys. So, guys, huwag nyo yung tatapon to. Especially pag mga ganitong teking bagay. Kailangan nyo yung sometimes basahin yan. So, ganito lang siya kalaki. Alright, maliit na maliit lang guys. Mas malaki pa yung dangkal ko sa kanya. Meron kang libreng UTP cable. But I'm not gonna use it in my case. Uh, meron ka rin power adapter. Yun lang alam naman ng box guys. So, buksan muna natin itong um, power adapter. Simple lang. Power adapter lang. That's just what. Okay. This is, um, let's see. 100 to 240 volts. This is uh, 50 hertz. And then 3 amps. Output niya ay 5 volts with 0.6 ampere. I don't know if you can see that guys, right? There we go. Kita nga na. Alright. So, kung tayo dito sa ating router. Okay, mura lang to guys. Kaya, hindi to kasing lawak. Pero, kung gusto nyong extend gaya sa akin, in my case, I'm in, in the third floor. Kaya, sometimes, yung aming internet sa ibaba, hindi na umaabot dito. So, testing natin to. There you go. So, ito po yung itsura niya. Ito po yung antena niya. Ayan guys. Hope you can see that. Okay. Very, very simple. Simplistic. Okay. So, gaganyan yung ito. Ayan na. Magiging ganyan yung itsura niyan. Alright. So, andito na naman sa manual yung um, guide nito. So, sabay-sabay natin yung hanggang kaya na isi-setup at pag-aaralan. Okay? So, 
Alright, so let's go ahead and proceed on setting up the router. Okay? So, sasaksa ko muna siya. Okay, stay put lang kayo guys. Alright, there we go. Okay, go. So, pagsasok natin sa kanya. Alright. So, wala pa tayo nakikita ng ilaw. There you go. Now, it's lighting up. Isabihin may power na guys. Okay. Okay. So, ayon sa ating installation guide, Itingnan natin yung IP address nito guys sa installation guide. Kasi magkakaiba sila ng IP address. So in this case, let me see. That, zero, that, one. So, pakita ko lang sa inyo guys. Uh, as it was saying here, ang kanyang default address ay ito. Or, you can use ito. Okay? You can either use yung dalawa. Okay, so, i-set up mo siya using the phone. Okay, so, sasaksa ko muna itong ating sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Nakakonekto dun sa, um, sa ipaba, sa ground floor namin. You're gonna need to connect that cable dito sa one right here. Okay, so, dyan natin yan i-kakabit. By the way, nakalagay din yan dito guys, sa installation guide. Kung gusto nyo makita. Sabi yan, of course, you just need to connect yung power cable dito sa power. Yung one dito sa modem natin. Okay? So, dun siya kukuha ng internet sa modem. Alright? There you go. So, um, pakita ko muna sa inyo guys kung paano siya i-set up. Now, nakakonect na. As you can see, here makikita nyo may signal na yan nun. Ibig sabihin, connected na sa internet yan. So, what I'm gonna do right now is go to my browser. So, hanapin ko lang muna yung aking browser. So, hold on. Okay. So, sundan lang natin yung nakalagay dun which is yung kanyang default uh, address which is right here in my case it's 192.168.0.1 okay, type natin yan dyan hanapin muna natin yan sa network okay, right there okay so mangingi ito ng password if I'm not mistaken Uh, it's currently open. Wala pa siyang password. So, uh, actually, test na natin kung may internet na. Just for the sake of showing you guys. Google. Google Translate. Let's see. There you go. So, may internet na actually. Pagkasalpak mo pa lang guys, it's plug and play. But you have to set up the password. Of course, we don't want anybody else to be using our internet. So, type natin dito yung 192.168.0.1 Okay? Ayan yung type natin guys. So, you can see. Right there. So, go lang natin siya. Go. Alright. So, dito na yung login. Login information can be found over here. Okay? Wait lang ha? Bear with me. So, it's asking me for the new password. So, pinapaset up ka na niya ng bago mong password sa router. Okay? So, type in ko muna yung password natin. Let's just make an example. We're gonna make it Wapax TV. 
CB. Okay, go back CB. Right, plug in. Okay, I'm not, not gonna save it. So, ang sinetap ko ay dynamic because I want the IP to change every time. Uh, by the way guys, kung uh, medyo techy kayo, somehow you can set it up on IP. Ibig sabihin, hindi nagpapalit yung IP nito. Pag static IP, uh, hindi nagpapalit. Dynamic pag gusto nyo nagpapalit every time. Automatic mag-obtain yung device yun ng IP address. So, it says here, tp -link. I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna put a password. Let's put PaxTV. PaxTV right there. Right? Oh, sabi niya, we need a length of at least 8 up to 63 characters. So, we're gonna put 2019. Your settings. We we'll have space and change. Please reconnect it to the network and set up the dash. Okay? So, finish lang natin yun. Magre-reconnect yan sa Wi-Fi. So, connected siya dun sa main namin Which is mababa yung wifi Pero, i-reconnect natin siya dun sa Tip link ulit So, we're waiting lang Kasi nag-reboot yung device sa Detectable uh, connection Right here There you go So, mahingin na password Lagyan natin yung password natin uh, Max TV 2019 Okay, connect tayo Connected. Okay. So let's go ahead and test yung ating. Mm -hmm. Speed. Later. Tinit po natin kung may internet na siya. Dot com. Google dot com. Right? There we go. There we go. May internet na tayo guys. So, sample pa ulit. Alright, so meron na tayong internet but I want to see kung gaano kabilis ba, kung nare-retain ba niya yung speed coming from this cable dun sa internet namin sa baba or does it get reduced <clears throat> nasa na ba yung ating speed test, there you go by the way guys, mas malapit ako sa wifi ngayon so kaya malakas yung signal nito um Pag mas malayo ka sa router, of course, mas ma pagaling speed niya. So, this is natin yung speed natin. We're supposed to be at 15. Minus 10%. So, about, uh, about 13, 14, something like that. Nice. Awesome guys. So I, I guess that really proves it that the internet connection gets retained here. Um, recommended ko to guys kung gusto nyo ng murang murang wifi extender. Meron namang murang repeater kaya lang kasi somehow yung mga USB repeater na na, na bibili natin mabilis masira eh. But this thing right here is very durable. Uh, bumili na ako ng ganito dati um, na wifi ano. Um, TP-Link yun yung gamit ko sa aking uh, shop see that In, pagka kasi malayo yung wifi kagaya sa case namin nasa ibaba yung wifi mahirap makakonek no? kasi ma malayo so kung gusto nyo ng reliable connection uh, ang ginawa ko sa akin ay kumuha ko ng 40 meter na cable kinabit ko sa ibaba Bumili ako ng TP-Link at kinabit ko siya dito. Napakadali lang naman niya i-set up guys as you can see. So, I will not be any uh, problematic anymore. I won't be thinking about getting disconnected anymore sa ating internet uh, 
there you go so I think possibly na makapag live stream na kami in the next few days uh, because of this router so maliit lang siya guys at maganda so far so good masaya ako sa result ng TP link na ito sana nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito guys and um, if you want a uh, testing pa nito or any other test uh, put na lang yung inyong comment sa comment section below uh, sasagutin natin yung mga tanong nyo guys or mag upload kami ng video for testing this device as well as yung durability nito para sa inyo guys right? so hope you like the video thumbs up and like and subscribe guys so nakatapos na naman tayo ng isang unboxing we hope you like the video and as always like share and subscribe and peace out